Okay, well here we have a question to do with perimeter, area and volume, but very straightforward ones where you're doing a lot of counting. So first of all, we need to know the difference between perimeter and area. Perimeter is the distance around the outside. If you imagine a perimeter fence, it's the fence that goes around the outside of something, so to find the perimeter, we need to work out how far it is around the outside. Now with this shape, um, it's a good idea to mark on um, the numbers on the sides. I would actually go as far as to actually write on one, two, three, four. If you're not very good at this sort of thing, I mean, you could just mark a point and then count around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way around the outside. Um, I have seen people write the numbers on the side, so we put just four on this side, four on this side, four on this side, and then put two here, and then forget to add the oh, and have one up here and one up here, but not add these two sides, just have the two there. And make a mistake that way but if you do count it carefully around the outside and if you know it's worth even writing the numbers on you will get to the number 20. And it's 20 centimeters 20 squares around the outside 20 sides of squares find the area of the shape the shade of shape uh, very rare for people to get this one wrong as long as you know the area is the number of squares in size so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve squares so the area is how many squares are inside the shape. Find the volume of the prism. Now, this is a straightforward question, but it does require you to be able to see things in three dimensions. So this, finding the volume is asking you how many cubes are in this shape. So if I draw around that cube there, that is one cube of the shape. The most common mistake is for people just to count the faces of the cubes and they count out 20 faces. But if we count out the number of cubes, if we just do this front side, we've got one cube here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes on this first half. So this side, this is eight cubes. Okay, and there's two layers of eight cubes. So we've got eight and eight, which is 16 cubes. So 16 centimeters cube or cubic centimeters. So be careful with that one. When it's asking you volume and it's got a shape, you can just count the cubes. You could try to imagine there's sugar cubes or something that you're familiar with and just count them.